So what if Samsung made the Galaxy Z Flip 5 both more exciting and a bit more boring this year? As yes, new leaks point to a new flip phone from Sammy that could just bring some old and new updates. Google Tensor G3 just got leaked and let's just say it's the update we've been sort of waiting for for new pixels. And what if the rumored OnePlus foldable is a formula we already pretty much know? I'm Jaime Rivera and I know it's been a bit, travel has been crazy, but back to our regularly unscheduled programming. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today are non-existent, but let's start the video with Google because details about the Tensor G3 just surfaced. According to a new report, the company's new chipset that will power the Pixel 8 series will bring a lot of improvements. The report mentions that the Tensor G3 is going to be a considerable upgrade with more modern cores, support for the latest storage standard, a new GPU, and more. It seems like Google will change the core layout this time with a one plus four plus four layout instead of the two by two by four that we've seen before. The single big core will be apparently a Cortex X3, which will be clocked at three gigahertz. It will have four mid cores clocked at 2.45 gigahertz and four small Cortex A510 cores at 2.15 gigahertz, all upgrades from the past generation. The GPU is apparently also getting a considerable upgrade. Reportedly adopted Adopting the new Immortalis GPU specification, which is the Mali G715. And while the Tensor G3 also brings support for ARM v9, which allows for additional security upgrades. All these are expected to come very soon. I mean, we'll just see if it ends up being that good. Now let's talk about OnePlus and their upcoming foldable, which uh, we don't have a name for yet. Earlier this year, CEO Pete Lau himself confirmed that the phone would arrive in 2023. However, now we have more specification information. It is reported that the unveiling will happen in New York during the first half of August, meaning that it will arrive just one or two weeks after Samsung's foldables. The phone is also expected to be available globally, meaning that it will become available in the United States, India, and all other countries where OnePlus currently serves devices. What is also interesting is that Oppo could launch the Find M3 in China in August too, according to past rumors. The OnePlus Fold might just act as the international variant of that phone, which makes all the sense in the world. If so, expect the OnePlus Fold to have an eight inch inner display with a Quad HD Plus resolution and the 6.5 inch outer display at Full HD Plus, both with 120 Hertz refresh rate. And Side, we have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset, 16 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM, and up to 512 gigs of storage. Finally, we also get a 4800 milliamp hour battery with support for 80 watt wire charging, a 50 megapixel main camera with OIS, a 48 megapixel ultra wide, 32 megapixel periscopic telephoto camera, and a pair of 32 megapixel selfie shooters, one on each screen. And uh, well, let's just see how it goes because I really did like the Find Then 2 when it came out. Moving on, let's talk about uh, nothing since we have new information on the phone too. OnLeak shared a new batch of renders showcasing the design of the upcoming phone that should be launched next month. At a glance, it looks almost identical to its predecessor with that same transparent back and the iconic glyph lighting that uh, also looks pretty similar. The only notable difference in the lights is found around the camera with a split LED design and around the wireless charging section which is also now cut into pieces. The most noticeable change from this Nothing Phone 2 that we can see in the renders is in the sides and the back, which apparently seems to be rounder in the metal frame with curved edges and then a curved display, which is completely different from the flat one that we really liked on the previous model. That is pretty sad. So yeah, these images give us a clear idea of how it will look. We're getting closer and closer to the launch, so stay tuned. And finally, for the most interesting news today, let's talk about Samsung since we have more details on the next Galaxy Z Flip and they're both good and bad. Yogesh Brar posted the list of what we should expect for this next Z Flip and uh, well, it mentions a 3.4 inch outer display, which is larger, but sadly, we don't have more information on the main display. Now on the good front, the Z Flip 5 will use the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which is the most powerful chip for Android right now, as opposed to what other flip foldables have been bringing and uh, as for the rest 
rest of the specs, that's when things get boring. It is reported that the camera department will be the same as last year with a 12 plus 12 megapixel setup, though, yeah, new chips could bring improvements. The list also mentions that the chipset will be paired with 8 gigs of RAM and up to 256 gigs of storage, which is the same from last year. The battery efficiency improvements will mainly depend on that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 because guess what? Apparently we're getting the same 3700 milliamp hour power pack that we got on the previous model. The Z Flip 5 is expected to start at $1,000 again and should arrive next month. Uh, but uh, yeah, everything points to a larger outer display, a new chipset, but not much else. In today's question, let us know, I mean, what would you like to change about the Z Flip 5? Because I mean, uh, other than the larger display, and I would really just like what, like a 50 megapixel main camera that we get on the Galaxy S for that 2X digital zoom at least or something. But anyways, that's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social media, so our extended coverage happens on Instagram, and follow me on my personal handles to see me use hotel rooms again. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.